It was their mini copter that drew us to their base. But what I didn't expect was the snowball that followed. Now we're literally fresh spawned, but because of the Christmas update, we were able to get water pipes low grade. And I even found a ladder in a box on the way to this base. And I'm teamed up with Love Train, one of my friends, and we're playing on Rustified Southeast Asia Main. We're not going to get far with the fuel we have. I didn't hear anything, by the way, Train. Love Train was claiming that these boys were literally online five minutes ago, and now he doesn't know where they went. This was our opportunity to steal their heli, but we didn't have much low grade, and we wouldn't get very far with what we had. Drop me fly or? No, no, with water pipes. You crazy? Or to counter it? Do you think people are on it? People could be on it. It's all got two crates. You want us to risk the heli with water pipes to counter cargo? Yeah. Why not? Should we do it, chat? We'll wait till it gets close train and we'll go. Having a mini copter was huge, especially as we were just starting. And this could have been put to such good use, but instead, we did something stupid. If the scientists bail, because we can't take scientists down with water pipes. Well, we can if we, we just kill, we kill the bottom two, heavy. Okay. No scientists. I bled out. Train behind you, behind you. Oh, I'm dead. Good luck, train. Love train kills one, but ends up dying. And what we soon come to realize is the boys on cargo were the boys that we stole the mini copter from. And now they just took down attack chopper. There is a man on a mission. I like when a story unfolds naturally, and I feel like the coincidence with these boys is already good enough to make them the main focus of my story, so we're going to call them the Water Boys. Oh. Snowball has to start somehow, and this was it. This decaying base would give us the tools to have one epic wipe. Come back down here, please. This base is a 37 wall, the one, the stone one. Are oh, the roofs open? <gasps> Two jackhammers, metal doors, F1 grenades, another ladder. <gasps> Box of guns. Um, we need to make a base train. Um, shit, 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 shit. F1 grenades, MP5. Oh my god, I got five hive here. We need to go make a base somewhere, like now. With nowhere to stash all this loot, we grabbed a gun and some tools so we could go farm up and quickly make a base to stash it, hoping that no one else found it. Let's go. Let's go take this one over there, Sebi. On top of lighthouse, just running. Why? Why would you just like literally just like move, move capital from the top of the lighthouse? It's been taken over. So come down. No, 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 no. Why is this all building blocks? The base next to it, I think. Unable to build on that base, we moved on. They're at that base that we just looted. They loot they've looted everything. The one thing that we didn't want to happen just happened. The water boys saw us leaving from Lighthouse, then they went to investigate the decayed base, and they're now looting it. A raided base close by became our new home. I left Love Train in the base to secure it, and I went to see if I could get any more loot from that decayed base. Can you put a code lock on that door, Train? I'm gonna try and, uh, try and get some stuff back. I'm, was... I'm, 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 I'm still gonna steal the front of the base. I was gonna try and claim some loot back. Oh, train, maybe they didn't get the base. Oh no, they're at the base now. Kill the recycler. Nice. I come over, but I'm, I'm crafting everything. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I can't loot. I can't go in the open to loot him. 
if it's a good enough distraction though HLMG got nice Is that base still got loot in it? I don't know. I just I'm banking his gear set. That was huge. A full gear set and an HLMG. I wanted to go use it to try and get a bit more from them. Do you have any eyes on them? No. Yeah, I saw a bunch of guns, like a bunch of the thingy. I keep getting shot from behind. I don't know who that is. One just left his base. I'm just going to try and get guns off them, Joe. Are you banking loot, yeah? Yeah, I'm just going to bank this because it's a lot. Weird that they didn't take it. I've not held an HLMG in a long time. One shooting a bear. Oh, they're, they're, at the, they're at the source of the river. I'm going to hold here. You go back if that's okay. I don't know what they're doing. They're running the coast. Them all. Nice. So I can't come over, so I have to get out there as quick as possible. Whatever you can. <laughs> Got L9. Let's try to go back to base. Now. Yeah. Oh, train, -y, train, train. We need to get some stone just to secure our base. Got two LRs, HLMG, and an L9 from that run. <laughs> Killed him. Oh wow, we got real close. Meet Jason, another character in this story, and I'll introduce him fully when we figure out which base he lives in. Oh, they're both here. Okay, on for a second. Good one. I'm dead. I lost one of those sets to Jason. No big deal. We got plenty now. So I went back to the water boys base to see if I could get on the roof. What are you doing, man? He's so mad. I came back again, this time with a ladder. I was going to throw the loot off the roof, but he was watching. They're a cheap raid, guys, which is great news. There wasn't much loot to bank, and we had a lot of guns already, so that was no big deal, but I did learn the layout of their base. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? What's your problem? Huh? What's your problem? your voice man we had the guns we had the enemy now we just wanted to raid them but we would need resources to build up and we needed to secure our base as they knew where we lived and we were quite weak right now but first i want to see if there's any loot left over in that decaying base got it 
Thank you, Jutta. PC. Good enough. All right. That gives us the wood we need. We need to get some uh, sulfur on the go because I want to raid those guys. Because we need to learn satchel charge. At the roof camper up there because I'm going to deal with him. Yep. Hello, Jack. I'm a man. You must have just found it. Poor guy. Making me waste my meds, man. Making me waste my meds. The roof camper is not that face. That face. How do I get in? That was worth just for the jackhammer. This is just the beginning of the roof camper's annoyance. He has it out for me and I've done nothing to him yet. Do I go for scrap? Should I do a tunnel run, guys, in harbor? I need scrap or do I go for sulfur farm? Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is going to put this dickhead in his place. There he is. Look at him. Right there. Hey, mate. Sit down. What? We traded headshots there on one health and he still got his bullet away. I'm going to go on a sulfur farm. Let me heal up. We head to the snow. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a high foundation, I think. Okay, I've, I'm still lagging badly, so I'll try to be whatever help I can, but like, don't depend on me. I want to do that quickly. Train, is there a... I'm going to bring a jackhammer and tier one from base. Having just found a huge exploit in this space, instead of going sulfur farming, I decided to eco-raid this. Hold on this fucking roof camper. Up there. You wanna take this and I'll go back at base and try shoot him? Yeah. Get on the roof and do it, I guess. Hazmat is dead. Hold on, I'm in trouble here. Oh my god, I'm being pinned. Pinned. Stood up. I need some cover fire. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Let's try and heal up so I don't get like one shot at the roof because I've got a bag tag. The roof camper got me. We'd end up building our base in between two roof campers and to be pinned like that, that was so frustrating. I'm going to have to take one of them out, if not both. He's wearing my gear set. <laughs> so in true Sebi K style, I grabbed a shitty gun, found a hot air balloon and went to say hello. I think I've only got one attempt at this. Don't land on top of the windmill, please. That's good to know. I'm a 
Come on, chicken nuggets. There's a shotgun trap, guys. Do I risk it? It's a shit glitch that you can... It's a shit glitch that you can see your toes through it. I managed to get a lot of information just by doing that little trip and I only lost a P250, which is no big deal. Now under the cover of night, I went to do the eco raid. We need stone for this base. We've got 22 minutes upkeep. With the roof campers able to see me again, I decided to finish the eco raid a bit later and go on a stone farm before my base crumbled around me. Hey mate, the back of your base decayed. Oh, hot damn. I actually did just decay. Why you got so many keys, man? Bruh. Why has everyone got LRs, man? Better go back. I know why people have LRs. I've been chased by three people, man. All I did was kill one guy. Change my hazzy. Maybe they'll, they won't think it's me. As I was being chased, I took the long route home and that led me past the roof campus base. Well, the stone run only saw me get 2,000 stone, but that would inevitably stop my base decaying on me. I then went to get some scrap so I could research ladders and stuff because the roof campus were getting annoying. One trip in the tunnels was quite, it's big. That roof camper has another base for sure. We'll do some uh, security base upgrades, guys. It was then time to complete the eco raid. Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome to the stream. We'll research ladder and we'll come back. All right, ladder done. And then how far down can we go? Okay, we need another 520 scrap or satchels. Fucking hell, I am an eco fucking god. Eco god. I mean, it's not very rich, but still. I mean, it's not a rich base, but by any means, I will take it. Actually, a really poor base, but. As I said, I will take it. The fact that I got into core is hilarious. I took a little break and came back a little later with Love Train and we were going to start off by doing some eco raids. Train's meant to be coming back. Let's have a look. Are we raided? Train is online. Why is he not in core? Oh, you see? Hey, Train. Hello. Having scouted the area around us, we noticed that quite close to the roof cameras were some furnace bases that were eco raidable and plenty of wooden bases. So I got to work. Did we strike gold? Did we strike gold? Oh, holy fuck, we struck gold. Oh my god, we struck gold. Boxes, anything in the boxes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12,000 metal, of which most of it smelted. One huge jackpot, if I do say so myself. And then after that, we moved on to another furnace place, literally next door to the roof gambit, so it probably belonged to them. Oh, there's boxes in this one. Uh, 2,000 mets. Oh my god, we've hit garage door, jackpot, chainsaw. Metal as well, 2,000 metal. Two oh my god, two airdrops. We did not get sulfur. Another really good eco raid. But as I said, we didn't get sulfur and we are building up to raid someone. Which roof camper or the water boys, I do not know yet. 
Right, so what we're we doing, you want to do Molotov ready. So you want me to craft Molotovs. I made 14. That feels like excessive amount. Right, let's go, Chevy. 62 scrap. 62 scrap. So splash one in like the left corner and one in the, the other corner so you can get it. And if you're wondering why Train's not taking guns, he's got extreme lag. So he's basically a dead man in a gunfight. I'd rather just not waste time Oh wow, 300 scrap. You know what? See, see, this is what I mean, Sebi. Like, you, you just have a. They're like. They're just in between a tier 1 and a tier 2 most of the time. See, another. Oh my god. Another, look at the scrap, Sebi. Look, two LRs. See, Christmas. 200, 200 scrap. Take two LRs because the take one train. You want... I really want to take that down. Sounds like somebody's doing it for you. Yeah, you know who's. You know who it sounds like. It sounds like uh, Water Boys. Do you want to get some ladders? We'll go over to him, Sebi. Wait, yeah, just wait now. Wait. Let him tag it. I'm trying. I'm gonna try and kill him, train. Okay. Dead, go. M2. Oh, did I fuck it now? You're still door camping on 2 3. Still, man. Is he. Where's his gift? It's been set? a full fucking day, you bastard. Know, Retard oh. loser. Tony, ma. Tony, ma. Tony, ma. Tony, ma. Tony, ma. Tony, ma. He's mad. Tony, ma. Take his gun. I'm gonna go bank, okay? And this wasn't really door camping. This was under roof camping? <laughs> Did he rock at you? <laughs> yeah. I uh, know, he, he, I blew the ladder off with a grenade on accident. Got a guy at Lighthouse. Why does he come out full gear again? Go, I'm going, go. <laughs> He's got a bunch of guns in here, Teddy. Yeah, rocket launcher, we need that. What do we, what do, we do to you guys? You, you roof cut me when I was naked, man. You're literally Dude. going on a beach and you're shooting, you're roof camping naked. Dude, I didn't put this base here and we didn't even have a roof until like what? 30 you, seconds. Who put the base here the then? The HM Romans? Hmm? We didn't build, we didn't legit moved into this base, bro. We didn't build oh, here. You chose to move into it and then you decided to roof camp. Dude, we counterated it when we just fresh started. Yeah, and then you decided to roof camp after? Tell Incense! I should not listen to chat. Oh, I changed my gun to spaz and it had incense in it and it absolutely annihilated me. I right, just, uh, I was just thinking going... Ooh. Is he... He's wasting I think his... he's throwing... He's wasting oh, his C4. That kind of sucks. He legit just wasted his C4. That was C4. He threw four C4. He's uh, rage quitting. I really wanted to raid him, so I got very productive. Trainer left me now, I was alone for the rest of the wipe. So I did cargo first, fed up with the important stuff first. That's not important. That's not important. I then went to buy diesel fuel. He was selling loads of diesel fuel for pianos, believe it or not. I was then going to run the sulfur quarry. So I went to his base with the three pianos. Yes, I crafted three pianos and his shop wasn't available to buy from. So if you own this base, I want you to reply in the comments and let me know what the fuck you were thinking. Where's your shop? Are you kidding me? I made, th I made three pianos. I'm on the shop. You're a dick. 
So instead, I continued my journey to the snow and farmed until my jackhammer broke. Time to go home. Now it's going to pay me to run past everything and not be able to farm it. And once I had enough sulfur smelted for 10 satchels, I blew through one wall to see what I was dealing with. What is this base? And another 10 satchels, I guess, through the call. Gino? Oh my god, are these guys complete noobs? I don't care, I'm going deep. I don't get how people have time to put shotgun traps down. I never have time unless I randomly find them. Okay, GG. Now there's two. Don't have heals. We will bail. We will continue. At this point, enough sulfur had smelted for another 10 satchels, so I blew through what I thought was going to be core. Wow. So the loot room's there. Wow. Let's go see what these other guys do. Maybe their large furnace is going. Whoa. Compounded. You say outplayed? I'll show you. Say they outplayed me. Watch this. My chat were mugging me off in stream by saying Gino and his friend had outplayed me. So I got together my going deep tools and wanted to prove them wrong. Time to go deep on these boys. Um, I think that the gate's quite far out from the thing, so I can probably build in. MP5, huh? That broke. You got- you chat. This is all your fault. You fucking made me go all alpha on them. Grenade. Wow, box up broke, broke through the wall.
Oh shit. I tried to destroy their tool cupboard, but that didn't seem to work. So in the end, I eco raided up and gave up. I took the rocket launchers, which I needed, and moved on. I had a base to raid. But first, I wanted to use the sulfur quarry to get as much sulfur as I possibly could. And we're done. Sure, it's always worth getting your grind done when people are asleep. My route would always take me past the roof campers base. These guys were probably more annoying than the tall tower roof campers. I was going to take these guys out. What is this? What is... I can't look. What the fuck? I, what the actual fuck? You think he C4'd the armored... He C4'd the uh, door frames and the sealed. There's a rib over there. That's new. The water boys had despawned and griefed their own base. Imagine. Pathetic. But with that said, I now would turn my attention to the roof campers. But before I could even do that myself, they turned their attention to me. I was simply just trying to go on a recycle run and they were shooting at me. Honestly, these fucking roof campers are pathetic. Silence as well. That's a life. My frustration with them is probably underplayed because I haven't actually shown you how much they've been roof camping. I just kind of ignored that part of the story because, well, it's just them shooting. These boys were getting brave. They'd progress from roof camping to camping my base door. GG. Are you kidding me? Geared with a snowball launcher and you lost. Oh, sorry. Door camping and you lost. Is he building a raid base? Was he TC griefing me? All right, um, I might be getting raided, so. I then decided to fully upgrade my base to metal and add doors everywhere. I wasn't taking any risks, but then the raid just never came. So I waited for the shooting to die down and I went to check out what was going on at their base. Well, there's a sleeper there. An open door up there. I wonder if they've been raided. I doubt it though. Hello. I get that. Oh my god, I can get that. Got them. I fucking got them. Absolute dickheads. Finally, got an AK. Now the question is, do I want to eco raid in to see what's in those boxes? So that's exactly what I did. I took all their roof camping guns home and came back to eco raid in to see what else there was in there. Right, let's have a look. Oh. Uh. Holy fuck. Why is there so much low grade up here? Meds. I can tell you right now, in all my years of rust, my 7,000 hours, I've never come across a base with so much low grade in their roof so that they can make meds and roof camp all day. This was something new to me. Makes me want to blow through that door.
Hey. Well. Turrets are off. And let's stop them ever turning them back on again. Killed by the other roof camper, so I try something. I try talking to him. Hey man, you wanna help me do a raid? You wanna help me do a raid? I'm naked. You wanna help me do a raid? You have a mic you have a microphone? I'm raiding them. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes. I hate these guys. Let's do it. Do you have any sulfur left? <laughs> I've literally I've literally run out. I do. I, I do. Come, come, come. Don't they say the enemy of my enemy is my friend? I put my differences aside because I wanted the help. I wanted the shortcut. I couldn't be bothered with this wipe anymore. I wanted just to finish these guys, and he had the means to do so. All right, yeah, come inside. I have to progress you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the full, the full treatment here. Right? Come, come. We're going all the way. I don't have any traps. So we worked together on the raid, and this is what happened. You know. <laughs> all right. Fuck it. We got enough rockets. I, I really don't care. I got enough. Hey, we got all the sleepers. Careful. I'm back. Oh, it's you. Fuck me. You scared the shit out of me. We went back to his base to get some more rockets. And by the time we came back, they were online. Looking at that gear sets, fucking roof campers. I can go make uh, explo if you hold this. Do you want it? You want to join my team so I can type to you? Yeah. Shoot the door. Shoot the door. The explo. Step back, step back, step back. There you go, killed him. Why is this TC uh, well, that like that? That was my last explo. <laughs> Why is this TC? I don't know. Like that? That's what I was thinking. What is this? Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.